All right, we're here in the Niner locker room. We've got Isaac Yadam. And first of all, as we get rolling, um, is that the correct pronunciation? Did I, did I get you get you right there? Yeah, sir, perfect. Nice. So um, I got a I got a niece. My niece is headed off to Boston College. She's a freshman. Uh, what? <laughs> there you go, okay. Eagles. Yeah. Would you? How was your stay? How would you think of BC? I loved it. You know, I'm from Boston, so it was home for me. But uh, great school. You know, it's a private school. They do everything uh, at a really high level. They take care of it, so it was great. Yeah. How are you a different player today yeah. than you were coming out of BC? I remember when you coming out of BC. Mm -hmm. Obviously the same body, but yeah. you're a much different football player today, aren't you? Right, yeah, I was uh, blessed to have some good defensive coaches over there, Don Brown, and specifically my defensive my defensive back coach, who is now I think, the linebacker's coach with Green Bay, uh, Anthony Campanelli. So I learned a lot from him growing up, getting older every single year, and still, to this day, I still use some of the techniques he taught me. But, you know, just learning football more, just getting the experience. And then for, uh, How'd you decide to come here in the offseason? What was, was it the Niners or somewhere else? What, how did you make your way here? Yeah, it was just uh, I got a chance to, uh, they showed interest, and I got a chance to come play here. And I knew the type of team it was. They were a winning team. They had a chance to uh, win a Super Bowl last year. They came to close, so I wanted to be a part of trying to get that this year. You had a great year last year. I think um, eight or nine PBUs in a, in a small amount of time. Yeah. Um, what was the difference? Why was last year such a productive year for you? Yeah, I just uh, got an opportunity. I just took advantage of it. So I don't think it was really doing much different, but it was just, you know, I, I was back with the coaches who drafted me uh, in Denver my first year, my okay. rookie year. So it was comfortable with me, gave me a chance, and I just took advantage of it. That's a big deal, huh? You got to know that you're playing for people that believe in you, that believe, that know what kind of player you are, know how to use you, and also believe in you. For sure, that was a big deal because I knew I could play free, and no matter what it was, they were sticking with me. Uh, I knew I wasn't on a short lease. I knew I could go out there and play football no matter what happened. I knew I have a next. I, I have a next down. How about the DB room in here? How do you? What do you think of it? It's good. Um, we got some playmakers, as you can see. Demo made a great play on the ball. Yeah. Demo uh, uh, Mooney almost brought one in. Uh, we played together. Uh, all smart guys, all veteran guys in the NFL, especially in our defense. So I'm happy to be a part of this DB room. What did you think of the win Monday night over the Jets? Good yeah. win. Great win for the defense, too. Yeah, every win is a good one. Uh, of course, there's some stuff that we could have got better at because at the end of the day, we want to be perfect. But uh, at the end of the day, we came out with the win. Uh, we learned some stuff that we can keep up, clean up, and that's what we're going to do going into Minnesota. Justin Jefferson might be the best receiver going. Mm -hmm. What makes him so tough? Well, why is he a tough cover? And you're, for yeah. people who don't know your game, you're a big corner. Yeah. You can match up with the big receivers. But yeah. what makes Jefferson so tough? Uh, he get in and out of his breaks, like a lot of receivers, but he catches the ball. He catches the ball really well. If it touches the hands, it's coming down with it. So I think that's the biggest thing with him. Uh, and in that offense, they use him so good. They get him open in that offense. So he take advantage of it. And the balls that's come thrown to him are usually completed to him. So he do a good job. You really got to take the ball out of his hands to force an incompletion. When you watch film, what are you looking for? What do you want to watch? You want to watch the cut-up film? You want to watch the All-22? Where do you where do you gain the most when you're watching film? I watch a little bit. Of, I watch a little bit of everything. I try to learn offenses and their schemes and stuff like that. But you know, with this offense, it's kind of a little complicated. But uh, when you play the player like Justin Jefferson, they can run anything with him. So you just kind of want to watch what he do a little bit, like his technique off the line and stuff like that at the top of the at the top of the route and stuff like that. And you just kind of got to be on top of your technique. How about quarterbacks? Uh, how much how much do you study the release, the ball out of the hand, all that kind of stuff? I mean, you're a veteran, you're a pretty savvy player, I would imagine, at this point. Uh -huh. How much do you study the quarterback? This week, obviously, Sam Darnold. Yeah, I think that's more. Uh, safeties get a chance to study quarterbacks mm -hmm. a little more because they're back there looking at the quarterback, so right. that's not much. But uh, when you watch a film, every single play, you put yourself in a certain coverage, and there's certain coverages where you're looking at the quarterback, you can see like how fast is his release versus three-step versus five-step. So I watch a little bit of quarterbacks. Um, Bay Area, what do you think? What do you think of the Bay so far? Weather's great, vibes great, can't beat it. Yeah. So you grew up in Boston. Yep. What was it like, in the city or what part Worcester. of Boston? Grew up in Worcester, oh, okay. town, uh, outside of Boston. But it was cool, but it was cold. It was cold. I used to be able to do the cold, but now I'm scared of the cold, so I yeah. got away from it. I, I was going to say, while, but, yeah. is, do you like playing on the West Coast now because it's California, you get away from that East Coast weather? Yeah, it, it's, it's for, the West Coast is different for sure because all my family's on the East Coast, but uh, it's cool. I like, like I said, I like the weather here. It's good vibes, uh, sunny every single day. It, it make it a little easier and happier to come to work. Last one for you. Appreciate your time. When you're not doing football, I mean, I don't think I don't think fans realize how much time you guys put into it. But right. when you're not playing football and you're just away and you're just being Isaac doing your own thing, yeah. what is, what's your own thing? What are you into? Uh, 
like an off season. Off season, yeah. When yeah. you got time, or you hang with your family, or whatever. What, yeah. Do you have hobbies or things that you do? Yeah, I'm usually golfer. Go yeah, I'm usually, basketball. I'm usually or golfing, and if lifting. I'm not golfing, I'm on a boat fishing. That's all I'm doing. So I live in Florida now, so it's one of the two things I got weather to do. I got great weather to do both. So pretty much every single day I do one or the other. Okay, you got a free day in Florida. Yep. You can golf or fish. Yep. What are you doing? It depends who I'm fishing with. Okay. It depends who I'm fishing with. Do you want to fish with a, with like a teammate? Yeah, I've been trying to get Bosa to come out with me. So hopefully next off season he, he comes out with me. So I'm gonna take him and we're gonna, we're gonna, we go out there and try to catch some uh, you know, good tuna or some selfish. But you gotta have somebody. You don't want somebody who talks too much, right? You want somebody who talks very little. Nah, it's all right. it's, it's fun. Like you know what I mean? It's, it don't matter if they talk little or not enough. But like I kind of know what I'm doing, so I kind of like when. People ask a bunch of questions and kind of make me feel like I'm a little cool or like I'm the man. So I like taking new people out, but it's great being out on the water, man. It's driving a freaking boat. You, just, you feel on top of the world. It's the best thing ever. Okay, the, I, last question for you. I always got to ask this. People say they love to fish. Yeah. What do you use for bait? Are you, a blo <laughs> you go with shrimp, blood worms? What are you, what are you putting on the, what's, What are you using for bait? Well, when we, uh, when we uh, deep drop, we use like shrimp and squid and stuff like that. But uh, on the East Coast, we don't deep drop too much. Uh, when I go out with my buddy Milano mm -hmm. on the West Coast, on the Bills, he's a big fish. Yeah, really Matt good. Milano, the he linebacker. Got, he got some secrets out on the West Coast. So uh, we catch a lot of uh, grouper and snapper over there and he got off the spot. So uh, that's always great. We Every time I go out with him, we catch something. So he's guaranteed. Awesome, man. Yep. Hey, great meeting you. Uh, welcome to the Bay. Hope you have a great season. Yep. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Thank you. Isaac Yadam. Thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you. you.